Mackinac Island sits in Lake Huron between Michigan's upper and lower peninsulas. This little island is just under four square miles, but is packed with fun, adventure, and history. One of the main ways to get here in the summertime is by ferry. I love seeing the excitement on the visitors' faces as they approach the island. I'm Steph, I live on Mackinac Island, and I can't wait to show you why this magical place was named number one island in the continental US by Travel and Leisure Magazine. One of the first things that you'll notice when you arrive is that there are no vehicles. People get around by walking, biking, horse-drawn carriages, wheelchairs, or mobility scooters. It's a great way to escape the hustle and bustle, slow down a little bit, and also go exploring. So what do you say? Let's go rent a bike. Mackinac Wheels has a bike ready for us. Oh, here it is. Oh, have a good ride. Oh, thanks so much. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be great. There are a variety of bike shops on the island with different rentals available from three-wheel adult trikes, mountain bikes, kids' bikes, even burleys and tandems. A little bit of everything to go exploring. And right now we're on the perimeter and we're gonna take a look around. Biking the perimeter is one of the most popular things to do. M185, also known as Lakeshore Boulevard, is the only vehicle-less highway in the US. It's 8.2 miles around, mostly flat, and has beautiful views along the way. But we're gonna do something a lot of people don't. One of my favorite things, a big tip that I have if you come and visit Mackinac Island, go up the hill into the interior and go exploring. Here's Wawashkimo Golf Course, also the site of the battlefield of 1814. Up to Fort Holmes, the highest point on the island, as well as home to a historic earthen fort. And this is the Post Cemetery, one of only four places that can fly the U.S. flag half-staff year-round. That was a ton of fun exploring, and now we're headed back downtown where there's a sweet treat waiting for us. Not only is Mackinac Island the number one island in the continental U.S., it's also the fudge capital of the world. There are seven different fudge businesses and 13 different fudge shops in the downtown area. And the best part is the fudge makers, they do the whole process up front, right where you can see them. There's big windows looking in and most of the businesses blow the smell out. So as you're walking by, it smells like fudge. I know May's candy shop just started a fresh batch. Let's go check it out. I've never gone to foot fudge before. Basically to use the long paddle, you're going to push. Okay. And before the fudge reaches the edge, the side, mm -hmm. you're going to flip and then you're just gonna pull it back. Like that? Awesome. Good job. <laughs> Mace Candy Shop started on Mackinac Island in 1940. And we've actually been in this specific location ever since. Wow, that is amazing. Hot off the marble table, we made chocolate. Ready for this? The ultimate taste test? So good. <laughs> you can't even talk, it's so creamy. Horses are instrumental to daily life on the island. They serve as taxis, they help deliver boxes to homes, they even pick up the garbage and recycling. A lot of what we do wouldn't be possible without our horse friends, so making them a part of your Mackinac Island vacation is definitely a must. There's saddle horse riding, you can even drive your own carriage. There's also the popular public carriage tour, which is about 20 people in a carriage and they take you around to some of the highlights and sharing history of the island with you. Today, we are doing the private carriage tour, which is a little bit more intimate. You can customize your route and you get to sit back, listen to the horses and enjoy the sights and sounds of Mackinac Island. Everyone say hello to our driver, Keith, but more importantly, Julian and Bubbles, who are here to take us on a quick little tour. All right, we're at our first stop, Arch Rock. Let's 
go check it out. Arch Rock is one of Mackinac Island's famous limestone formations. Looks like it's pretty quiet right now, which is a perk of going early, but let's check it out and look at these views. Well, Keith, Julian, Bubbles, thank you so much for the tour. It was so much fun, super informative. You're welcome. Thanks for riding with us. And what service! They even dropped me off at my last stop, Fort Mackinac. Fort Mackinac is a revolutionary era fort with 14 original buildings. They have live interpreters who do rifle demonstrations, cannon firings, walking tours. The exhibits are amazing, they're informative, and it's one of my favorite spots on the island. What a day it has been, and I get to end it up here at the Fort Mackinac Tea Room with one of the best views in the Midwest. You know, it's been an action-packed day, but this is one of my favorite things, to just sit down, take it slow, take it all in, listen to the horses and the bicycles going by, watch the ferries going through the straits. It's spectacular. There's something special about Mackinac Island.